welcome to Pinterest with Karen. All right. So the minute that you stop believing that Pinterest is just for recipes and crafts is the minute that you'll start succeeding with blogging. blogging. Um, you'll change your overall mindset about Pinterest and what it truly is, especially when you start getting traffic from it, um, which means it's going to give you a hundred times more, if not more than that, than what you get from social media posts. So this is an example of my domain board. This is um, a list of pins or a collection of pins that goes straight to my website that people click on all the time. And these go viral. And over time, they keep just getting more and more impressions and more hits and more traffic. And that's that's really cool. That's really what you want. Um, Pinterest is like a collection of pretty things, pretty images, um, informative posts, how to's, uh, information about different niche topics, if you will. It's like a visual Google search with images, only those images are like ads um, that don't act like ads. So it's filled with like how-to articles, things that people can buy. You can connect your shop to it with catalogs. Um, you can also, you know, make money through affiliate income, you know, through your blog. But mostly it's to attract a certain pre-qualified audience that is already interested in, in what you have to say based on search. It's a huge search engine. And it's also a blogger's best friend. Why? Because it gives us traffic. Non-stop, unending traffic. So when you're putting out how-to videos or um, even like on YouTube, you know, you might have like a YouTube video that you want people to see more of that they might not have discovered on YouTube. You can actually pin that and get an audience that way. So this is going to be your traffic generator to get people who are already interested in your topic or your subject of expertise and whatever you offer product wise or service wise to your website. From there, they can sign up to your email list or lead magnet that you've created. And that's why it's essential to do some planning on your blog, much like an architect would prepare a building. So you can kind of see like different pins and articles that I've written, different products that I have kind of embedded in this board. And there's no real answer on like how many boards that you should have. Um, I think I have anywhere between 80 to 100 right now. But um, you want to have like a certain level, maybe like at least over 20, but have a board that's dedicated to your own domain pins so that you can have a collection of articles that people can click on and link back to your blog. So that's just kind of like an overview of Pinterest and why I like it so much and how it kind of works for traffic. This is something that I highly encourage any sort of marketer to take advantage of. And there's a lot of tools that you can use and strategies that we'll cover in the upcoming videos. But at least I want you to kind of get acquainted with how it works overall, why we love it so much, and why you're gonna to wanna to use Pinterest if you're blogging. All right, let's move on to the next video and we'll talk about niching your blog and positioning yourself as the expert. Alrighty, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and then Hop on over to carrylegend.com where you can sign up to receive my clever, informative, and sometimes funny emails. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.